Hello friends through this video we will learn the concept of plastering, pointing, and painting in very systematic manner. If you like the video please do share it and subscribe the channel. Plastering Applying mortar coats on the surfaces of walls, columns, ceiling etc. to get smooth finish is termed as plastering. Mortar used for plastering may be lime mortar, cement mortar, or lime cement mortar. Lime mortar used shall have fat lime to sand ratio of 1, 3 or 1, 4. If hydraulic lime is used mix proportion, lime, sand, is 1, 2. Cement mortar of 1, 4 or 1, 6 mix is very commonly used for plastering, richer mix being used for outer walls. To combine the cost effectiveness of lime mortar and good quality of cement mortar many use lime cement mortar of proportion, cement, lime, sand, of 1, 1, 6 or 1, 1, 8 or 1, 2, 8. The objective of plastering are 1. To conceal defective workmanship. 2. To give smooth surface to avoid catching of dust. 3. To give good look. 4. To protect the wall from rainwater and other atmospheric agencies. 5. To protect surfaces against vermin. Requirement of good plaster are 1. It should adhere to the background easily. 2. It should be hard and durable. 3. It should prevent penetration by moisture. 4. It should be cheap. Lime mortar is usually applied in three coats while cement mortar is applied in two or three coats for the stone and brick masonry. For concrete surfaces cement mortar may be applied in two or three coats. For concrete building blocks many times only one coat of cement mortar is applied. The first coat provides means of getting level surface. The final coat provides smooth surface. If three coats are used second coat is known as floating coat. The average thickness of first coat is 10 to 15 mm middle coat thickness is 6, 8 mm. The final coat is just 2 to 3 mm thick. If single coat is used its thickness is kept between 6 to 12 mm. Such coats are used on concrete surfaces not exposed to rain. Pointing Instead of plastering entire surface of the masonry, special mortar finishing work is done to the exposed joints. This is called pointing. It consists of raking the joints to a depth of 10 mm to 20 mm and filling it with richer mortar mixes. In case of lime mortar pointing mix used is 1, 2 and in case of cement mortar pointing mix used is 1, 3. Pointing is ideally suited for stone masonry because stones are having attractive colors and good resistance to penetration by water. Pointing gives prefection to weaker part of masonry, i.e. to joints, and it adds to aesthetic view of the masonry. Comparison between plastering and pointing. Types of pointing. One flush or flat pointing. This type of pointing is formed by pressing mortar in the rake joints and by finishing the edges or neatly trimmed with trowel. This accumulation of dust, water etc. Two struck or ruled pointing, this is a modification of flush pointing in which the face of the pointing is kept inclined by pressing the upper edge inside. This pointing drains water easily. This pointing has a better effect of throwing rain water. 3. Rubbed slash keyed or grooved pointing, this pointing is obtained by forming a groove at its mid by a pointing tool. This type of pointing gives an attractive appearance to the structure and is generally used for superior brick work. 4. Recessed pointing, the pointing is done by pressing the mortar back from the edges by 5 mm or more. In other words, the mortar joint is pressed inside by means of a suitable tool and is left vertical instead of being made inclined. The pointing gives very good appearance. This type of pointing is provided when the work of good textured bricks is provided. 5B pointing, this pointing is formed by forming B groove in the finishing face. This type of pointing is generally recommended for brick work in case of government or public buildings. 6. Weather pointing, 
This is similar to V-pointing but in this case instead of pressing a V-shaped groove inside, it is projected outside the wall surface as shown in figure. Profiles for different pointing and their resistance to rain. Painting 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 is an art of covering a surface with required number of coats of paint. Paint is a fluid paste made by dissolving a base means white lead, red lead etc. in a vehicle slash solvent, generally linseed oil, in addition to a coloring pigment. An ideal paint should have uniform spread as a thin film, high coverage, good workability, and durability. The paints should also be cheap and economical. The surfaces of timber or steel work in a building are not weather resisting. However, the timber is liable to decay and steel surfaces may become rusty. To prevent this surface, a specified paint of required shade is applied. Purpose of painting 1. Dot to protect the surface from weathering effects of the atmosphere and actions by other liquids, fumes, gases etc. 2. Dot to prevent the decay of wood and corrosion in metals. 3. Dot to provide pleasing appearance. 4. Dot to provide a smooth surface for easy cleaning. Characteristics of an ideal paint An ideal paint should possess the following characteristics. The paint should form a hard and durable surface. The paint should possess attractive as well as pleasing appearance. The paint should be fairly cheap and economical. It should be applied to the surfaces in an easy way. It should have good spreading quality, so as to cover maximum area in minimum quantity of paint. The surface coated with paint should not show cracks when the paint dries. It should form a film of uniform color on drying. It should be stable for a longer period. It should not be affected by atmospheric agencies such as temperature, rain etc. Types of paints, the different types of paints in common use are as follows. 1. Aluminium paint It consists of finely ground aluminium suspended in quick drying spirit varnish or slow drying spirit varnish. On the evaporation of the spirit or oil, the particles of aluminium form a thin metallic coating on the surface painted. 2. Anti-corrosive paint It consists of oil, a strong dryer, a dryer is a substance which acts as a catalyst and accelerates the process of drying of a paint film, and a coloring pigment mixed with very fine sand. It gives a black appearance to the surface being painted. 3. Asbestos paint It consists of fibrous asbestos as the main ingredient of the paint. It possesses the qualities of retarding the action of fire and of resisting the effects of water or gases. 4. Bituminous slash tar paint It consists of asphalt, bitumen or tar, dissolved in naphtha or petroleum or white spirit. It presents a black appearance on the surface being painted. These paints are suitable for painting structural steel and iron work under water. 5. Cellulose paint also known as lacquers. Cellulose paint hardens by evaporation of thinning agent and thus hardness quickly. Being very costly their use is restricted to painting cars, ships, and airplanes. They stand extreme degrees of heat and cold. 6. Cement paint It consists of boiled linseed oil to which 65-75% to Portland cement has been mixed. The cement paint is available in powder from in varieties of shades. It possesses better waterproofing qualities, good strength, hardness, density, and durability. Used for offices, cinema halls, hotels, factories, workshops. 7. Emulsion paint It consists of a vehicle. A vehicle is a liquid substance which keeps the ingredients of paint in liquid suspension, such as polyvinyl acetate, synthetic resins, chlorinated rubber, as main constituents. It is recommended for masonry surfaces due to quick drying, and high durability. 8. Enamel paint It consists of metallic oxide, white lead or zinc white, ground with a small quantity of oil and mixed with petroleum spirit. Enamel paint dries slowly and has the property of flow and leaves no brush marks. 
It is used both for internal as well external works. 9 Oil paint It consists of a base, white lead slash red lead slash zinc white slash titanium white slash aluminium powder slash lithopone, and a vehicle, linseed oil slash tung oil slash poppy oil slash nut oil. Oil paints are cheap, fairly workable, and possess the qualities of good appearance. Oil paints are used in general for all types of surfaces such as woodwork, walls, ceilings, metalworks etc. Aluminium paints consist of aluminum powder as base and are resistant to acid fumes. Aluminum paints are used for painting metal roofs, silos, machinery, poles, towers and storage tanks and the painted surface is visible even in darkness. Anti-corrosive paints Linseed oil is used as vehicle A pigment of CRO2, PB or red lead or zinc chrome is taken and after mixing it with some quantity of very fine sand, it is added to the paint. This paint is cheap and lasts for a long duration. Asbestos paint, the main constituent is fibrous asbestos. These paints are used for stopping leakage in metal roofs, painting gutters. Asbestos paint is also called fireproof paint. Bituminous paint, it is prepared by dissolving asphalt in any type of oil or petroleum or naphtha. The paint presents a black appearance and it is used for painting iron work underwater. Cellulose paints is also known as lacquers. A cellulose paint hardens by evaporation of thinning agent and thus hardness quickly. Being very costly their use is restricted to painting cars, ships, and airplanes. Cement-based paint, it is available in dry powder from it is waterproof and durable. For external finish, on cement plastered walls, it is mixed with water before its application. Cement paints are durable, strong and are used on exterior surfaces of buildings. Mixed with boiled linseed oil they are also used over corrugated iron sheets. Bronze paint, generally a pigment such as aluminum or copper powder is used in bronze paint. It is highly reflective and is applied over radiators. Casein paints, casein, a protein substance extracted from milk, curd, and is mixed with a base, lithophane. They are available in powder or paste from. They are used over new plaster surface, walls, and ceilings. Rubber-based paints, rubber is treated with chlorine gas is dissolved in solvent and desired pigment is added. These paints are resistant to acid, and alkalize. Rubber paints are used over concrete and cement plastered surfaces. Plastic emulsion paints, these are useful in porous and slash or wet surface. The emulsion coats are less odorous, non-inflammable, quick drying and easier to apply than other paints. It is composed of plastic compounds such as vinyl acetate and acrylate which are dissolved in water. When the paint dries, the water evaporates and a thin film is left out on wall surface as a coat. Thank you for watching the video if you like it please do share it and subscribe the channel.